I just filmed the first part of the video with the fan on, so now I have to start all over again. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Tripsy Beauty's YouTube channel. Click subscribe down below and if you have clicked subscribe and this video didn't come up in your feed on YouTube, then you have to click that notification bell. I want to say thank you to all of those that have supported us also on Facebook. Um, I know that these videos aren't the best of quality, but I'm doing my best. And unfortunately this week I don't have my computer to see that I can edit it at the quality I would like to edit it at. So it's going to suck a little bit more than it sucked the last time. So just bear with me here. Bear with me. So for the month of April, we featured one brand in our bag. And that brand is called Pure Decadence. And so we called our beauty bag Decadent Beauty. This And the bag itself was made by a company called Dainty Designs by K. And, and all of these goodies here are what you got in your beauty bag. I just dropped one. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I use this and how it helped me and if it helped me and what is best used for, then keep watching. The beauty bag looks a little something like this. Very simple. When you unzip it, the inside has a nice little... that I wanted to talk to you about in the Decadent Beauty bag was this goat's milk soap. It's like a cupcake. I love how it looks. It's very cute, very adorable. There's cosmetic glitter on there so it's safe for your skin. And she used rainbow colored icings, little icing peaks right here. I love that about it. Um, this soap is interesting. There's no heavy scent. It just smells really Really fresh, which is kind of the scent that goes straight throughout this line. It's just no heavy scents. Just I just I like it because there's no heavy scent and it doesn't smell like anything in particular. Because I really don't know how goat's milk smells, so like I can't really judge. But yeah, it's not one of those lathery soaps and stuff. This is something that you really have to work to get a lather. Um, for the first probably just the first time that you use it, that you're gonna get the glitter on your skin. But that glitter won't last. Because I like this soap because it feels very moisturizing this is the most moisturizing i've ever felt in a soap in a very long time a lot of other soaps they moisturize but not as much as this this leaves your skin like i don't think i use as much lotion or any at all i use lotion only on the heels of my feet when i use this soap because i feel like my body is moisturized um it's different to the dijonesque lemon and turmeric soap where this one is really lathery and it's still moisturizing but if you're okay with it not lathering and you also like the benefits of goat's milk let me just let me just find out what goat's milk does for you goat's milk soap is wonderful for people with dry or sensitive skin or conditions such as such as eczema and psoriasis so stuff like goat's milk is great for you if you have really sensitive skin she has a lot of different other bars in her line that have goat's milk in it and this one this one just smells there's no fragrance and I, I just like the i like it there's a little bit of chamomile in there it's relaxing it's moisturizing i like this this is the first product so the second product which is the one that i use normally in tandem with the goat's milk soap is this guy look at how cute this looks doesn't it look just so look at all those colors i saw this and i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god yeah so this is called the emulsified sugar scrub i don't really know what emulsification is but it is it is very different than any other scrub that i have ever seen i figure it's some kind of way where they probably make it a little bit more melty because if you look at it it's really liquidy my nails are too long let me just put my in a little bit my bottle has finished and when it goes onto your skin it just it literally melts into your skin after you rub it after a certain amount of time it melts still and then leaves a bit of moisturization on your skin let me tell you this stuff it smells like i don't even know how to say it smells because it's a nice smell but it's not like an overpowering scent and it lasts until you rinse off your skin so it just uh, smells really fresh it smells like a hair product i used to use when i was younger when my mommy used to comb my hair for me but this stuff is good stuff when you scrub your skin with this i'm telling you you're not gonna want 
any body lotion. I don't use body lotion after using this. I just scrub my skin with this in the shower. It's luxurious. And this is the kind of stuff where if even a speck of it drop on the bottom of your bathroom floor, scoop that stuff up. We don't waste in this house. Look at how pretty this is. You could imagine how much time she takes to make this on her own. She says, says to massage in a circular motion on your wet skin after you soap it with this. And then you rinse with warm water. And let me tell you something. That makes you feel like it, it's such a luxurious spa every morning. Just This is just like two minutes extra in your bath. So, so I've been trying to do a scrub every time I take a shower. I used out my sample of this and I liked it. But I also kind of change up between that and the sugar and spice body scrubs. It's a lot different than the sugar and spice body scrub because this is the coffee one. This one seems emulsified but the, the sugar particles are really, really big. It's a lot bigger than you would and when you rub it on it kind of looks weird so I guess yeah it's based on how you prefer your scrubs to be I prefer gritty scrubs for places like my elbows and my knees and my ankles cuz girl she ashy but for your body to make your body more moisturized I would definitely use this emulsified sugar scrub if you especially if you have really dry skin in shower moisturizers are great so this not only would exfoliate the dry skin and get it all the dead skin cells off of your skin this would moisturize it really well so when I come out of the shower I normally wash my face then and I use a facial soap that is also made by a local company that I will not be mentioning yet because I want to feature it in a bag really badly but yeah, this is something that I also incorporated into my routine. I tried my sample version of this. It's now finished. This is called her Exfoliating Facial Greens. It comes in a bottle that looks a little something like this. Now, I like this. I like this because of two reasons. One, it's all organic products. And it's bicarbonate of soda, which is baking soda, soy milk powder, goat's milk powder, arrowroot powder, ground oats, ground walnut shells, and ground vanilla bean and then there's a special thing called colloidal colloidal i don't know girl just buy a bottle you'll find out and of course she says made with love at the end of all of her ingredients list she says love which i think is adorbs but this is a nice scrub because it doesn't feel like a scrub to be honest it's not rough once you put water in it it comes out as a dry powdery green but it's just a powder it's a lot of powders in there and she mixes it up really finely and when you you look at it and you feel it and you say this can exfoliate my skin but once you wet it it feels soft and smooth and you'll never guess that it's exfoliating your skin but when you wash it away it just, like it the dead skin cells are gone and I like using this because sometimes around just before my period when I'm PMS and I get really bad breakouts and those tend to hurt like I don't use facial scrubs because of that but I also want to be able to use makeup and makeup on dry skin does not look good so to be able to get the dead skin cells off for me to use makeup around the time when I have painful breakouts and it can't handle the rough and abrasive scrubbing this is the stuff that I use this is kind of a basic kind of product to put in the, in the bag but I liked it now this is called their lip butter and we have a video of this up on our Instagram and on our Facebook I love this stuff because there's also a lavender scent in there and it looks like this and purple is my favorite colors it smells really fresh there's no overpowering scent you kind of more smell the kind of natural scent this is not something that you would put on your lips to just like moisturize it in the middle of the day when you have like a crack or anything like this this is more for deep hydration so after you've done a lip scrub i like to use this after i've done a lip scrub to moisturize the lip itself it clumps the lips it makes it feel good so i like it because of that especially when i want to use like liquid lipsticks and stuff like that i would a lip scrub really quickly and then i'll use this lip butter this product is also an innovative way to do something that is kind of normal to find so i as you guys can see i have on acrylic nails i don't normally wear acrylic nails and my acrylic nails are featuring zia's hair and nail that's my cousin i'm gonna leave her link down below for her instagram and her facebook go check out if you need a manicure shameless plug don't come for me this is an alternative to a cuticle oil i would not personally recommend that people use this in a salon because it may not be the best thing but if you personally want something that would moisturize your cuticles 
moisturize your nails help your nails to grow and you know sometimes you have those parts of your fingers where your skin just starts to peel back because it's just like it's dry as hell and lotion just not helping it this is the stuff that you want to use so it looks like this and this is their nail and cuticle balm and the ingredients are interesting stuff organic cocum butter what the hell is cocum butter this girl let's go all over the world and find the best stuff also organic shea butter organic sweet almond oil organic apricot kernel oil vitamin e oil and a fragrance and to be honest I don't really find it have a fragrance per se. It smells kind of, I guess it have a kind of fragrance. It's not like a huge fragrance. Um, this is not something that you want to keep in your bag. Although I always keep it in my bag because if it gets really warm, it starts to get a tiny bit liquidy and then you have a situation like this on your hands. But it's something that I use in the morning or in the evening. And what I do is I take a little bit and then I rub it into my cuticles and on my fingernails like so and it doesn't stay oily like a cuticle oil if that's one thing I hate about cuticle oils is that it keeps your fingers looking oily and greasy like if it is dip it in olive oil like that don't make any sense bro this rubs right in and it's really nice and it what I have found I did this more it will be two weeks since I've had these nails in and I've already had a huge amount of space that needs to fill Naturally my nails grow really fast, but this has made it grow like exponentially fast So if you're looking for something that will help you grow out your nails really quickly if you're looking for something It doesn't taste good. So if you're a nail biter, this is the perfect thing for you to grow your nails as well as Moisturize those cuticles and help them to stop biting their nails. So yeah So guys, so that's all of the products that you will find in the Tripsy Beauty Decadent Beauty Bag for April month. This is the bag for those of you that haven't seen it. Again, it, I love it. It's a simple bag and everything just fits in there. Also remember that if you purchase anything from us, you can also get a 10% discount at Zia's Hair and Nails. She does my nails for me. If you guys want to purchase another one of these, we have a few left. If you get there early, you'll get still get one. Um, yeah, so my favorite product I would have to see at an April is the sugar scrub and so that comes to the end of our video let me just put a couple of announcements in there first of all y'all be sure to go on our facebook page like share and comment and subscribe to our tripsy beauty beauty subscription secondly month of may we are focusing our efforts not on a beauty subscription this month but on a mother's day treat we're calling it journée au spa it's called spa day in french if you guys want to find out more about that you could also check out our facebook page and the event page get your mom something really nice for mother's day it's a spa day which is a package you can come get a massage get a facial get her nails done zia's hair and nail will be there come on down let us know if you're interested also secondly we're also changing up a little bit our packaging we may be phasing out of the makeup bags you guys let me don't know down below if you prefer the makeup bag so if you'd like us to do a box we've been looking into getting a box as opposed to the bags but the cost of the boxes might seem cheaper but the, it's just it's not as cheap as it seems so we want to keep the price down for you we want to keep it at the 200 mark we don't want to get no way higher than that so let me know if you guys are okay with that and also let me know if you guys would prefer if we put more full size products in there because let's see these three products are not full size but the nail balm and cuticle balm and the lip balm obviously these two are full, full size so i guess we could probably slip in a couple of full size things there for you all if you guys want that please again let us know and yeah that's it thank you guys for watching okay guys have a great month later bye